listen, I'm not going to hold you for too long, but you know how the spirit works when he works in me. He works how he does. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderfully great, awesome, amazingly great day. The algorithm has brought to my attention that people, people, the world, the enemy has coined a new term. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. What in the actual... <sighs> hmm. So then I started scrolling a little bit too long, a little bit too long. And people are saying their moms are pick me's. People are saying their friends are pick, sorry, friends are pick me's. They're, the people that they're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis are pick me's. What is a pick me, do you ask? Because apparently I've been living under a rock and I'm cool with that, okay? I'm cool with that. The Lord covers me. He is my shield, okay? <clears throat> This is a, and you know how the Holy Spirit rolls. This is not a person, okay? We do not war against flesh and blood. This is Ephesians chapter six, okay? We do not war against people. I'm going to say it and say it and keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it. A pick me is not a person, the enemy is so clever. He's so deceitful. He is just coming up with new ways to get y'all wrapped up into something else that he's doing. People, body of Christ, pick me is not a person. Pick me is a demonic spirit. We don't even want to call it pick me because we know that this is how the enemy rolls. Like this is what he does. When you don't give the enemy the tension that he wants, what does he do? He comes and he starts doing all this stuff. Hey, tipping you with this. Hey, doing all of these things to get your attention and to fall back into the state that you just came out of. Do not be deceived, okay? If you fall victim to this pick me spirit, you're likely to start thinking negatively about yourself. You're likely to start to feel whatever the enemy is accusing you of or making you feel like you're less of or less than this person who he's using. But I come to remind you that Psalm 139 verse 14 says that you are wonderfully and fearfully made, okay? <laughs> Dead that thought. Dead that thought. And then I'm going to need you to mosey on over to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. That says, take every thought into captivity, into the obedience of Christ. Okay? So, for this new term that the enemy is now using to make people feel like other people are attacking them, I need you to be reminded of this. You are made in Christ, okay? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. And when those thoughts get you to thinking negatively about yourself, take them <laughs> into captivity, into the obedience of Christ, okay? If you need to be reminded of who God says that you are, I got a few videos way back when to tell you who you are and to remind you of who you are in Christ, okay? Do not be deceived by the enemy, all right? I'm, I'm gonna let you go. Go on about the rest of your day. I'll talk to you later, bye.